boy boys and welcome to the new 2x2 meta so what do we have here is this the honeycomb of a regular 2x2 well kind of so this is the pixel gap honeycomb uh, that has a tc in it um, this was presented in one of the rexmore's video and the tc is right in the middle the only problem with this design is well you can't multi-layer honeycomb um, and the raiders guess in which side of the honeycomb your TC is, well, the raid is over and you're griefed. So, uh, what I'm going to present to you is something like this, is where you put the TC in one layer of the honeycomb, it's still going to be a pixel gap accessible TC, and well, you can multi-layer your, uh, your TC. So now, your TC is in only one honeycomb and accessible from the inside. And uh, you'll actually have more protection because they have to guess which honeycomb your TC is in. So let's get into it. So first what you want to do is you want to start with a low foundation, two high foundations, and a roof triangle. I mean a regular roof piece. So after you're done with that, this is going to set the offset for height. So you set your height for the regular uh, honeycomb that you want to have your 2x2 two two on. And then you, while pressing D and fully going into the foundation, you put your first roof down. I mean, your first triangle down. So now, don't touch your mouse. Literally, do not touch your mouse until you're ready to click again. So you just move over with A. And as you can see, uh, the foundation gets stuck at that one point and then it turns red. So you want to move over as much as possible while getting the foundation stuck, but not red. So, now the foundation stuck, and I'm gonna click. Now that you have that down, you can touch your mouse, and you're able to set these two walls. So as you can see, uh, right over here, there is an offset. It's very small, but there is an offset, uh, because when you, you go underneath a roof tile, it pushes you down a little bit. So with that offset and the gap being basically non-visible, congratulations, you did the first part of, uh, of this pixel gap TC. So you go around with those triangle frames, put them on the wall, and close it in like you would with a regular grief, and you put your TC down. So let's see. We'll put it just about over here. So now that you have that down, there's two things that you want to check. One is that this closes in, and two, that this closes in. So if uh, my mathematics were correct, both of these close in. So now you can start deleting all these and update. So what do we do now? Well, first and foremost, you're gonna make sure you lock your TC so no one else can have access to it. Now, you're not gonna be able to get access to this TC. So if you have teammates now or anything like that, make sure to get the TC before you can get access to the TC again. So, put the top half upgraded, and now you're finally able to destroy this frame. This frame has to stay intact up to this point. So. You destroy the frame, put the bottom piece on, and well, it looks like a regular grief as you keep pulling out uh, that. So, now put in a foundation, and I'll show you what this is. So, if you put a box just about midway through, which is what I found the easiest with stone, uh, and basically walk over to the edge of the box. see through the gap and well access your TC so now that you have that by the way the TC is basically undamageable um, so what you're gonna do from here on is we are going to create a pixel gap um, 
at the top. So you're gonna have your regular honeycombed two by two with the TC inside in the gap. And you're also gonna have a pixel gap at the top. So let's get going. All right, to start creating that, you're gonna put your first regular foundation down. And what you're gonna do from here is um, run a bunch of triangles to make this pixel gap. I mean, yeah. So we're gonna hook this square to the end of the triangle. And basically what did, that did is offset you to one triangle, uh, I mean one square foundation away. So now it's imperative that you make this new tile hook up to, well, the tile on the other side. You can't have it hooked onto this one or the pixel gap won't work. So what I usually like to do is stare at that corner over there as high as it will let me go without it raising up. And that should have hooked over with the other tile. So now you put two more tiles, one hook to this side, one hook to that side. And now you should have a pixel gap. And the pixel gap should be right over here. So let's test this out. If we build the regular uh, honeycomb two by two design. And by the way, um, you can also bunker this if you uh, do it just right. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, which I'll explain at the end, um, you're not going to. So you can put a frame right over here. And you can put a frame right over here. Anything else will kill the pixel gap. So please don't do it. So let's see. First, you want to make sure that you attach a roof to the socket right over here. So what I like to do is uh, go to this point and literally move my mouse back right to the point that it hooks to the socket. So that. Now you look the other way and you do the same thing. And on this side, you just connect the two. So what this has done is create a pixel gap. As you can see, you can see the sky right over there. So what we do from here on is, actually, let's go through the whole build itself, um, where we upgrade everything. suggest doing is uh, leaving this open along with those open until you have just enough to be able to metal these inside pieces as you'll never be able to get to them again if you close the honeycomb. But once you do, close them in and well, um, you can close the rest of your honeycomb. So, And there it is. 
just your standard 2x2 two two honeycomb. Uh, so we put a couple doors here and there. And here you can even add uh, garage doors if you feel more secure. Alright, so now that we have that done, we would go to your roof. And at the roof, you hook up these four walls. Again, just make sure they're uh, hooked up in the same way. So um, you want to make sure you hook them up to their respective sockets. So. Get to the edge, and then when you do the front, you hook them up. All right. So what are we doing? Here? Well, what we are doing here is we creating a space to put boxes in, so you can fit two large boxes on each side and you want to make sure you put them right in the middle of that pixel gap. And because these boxes can be accessed from the outside by somebody that has a uh, that has knowledge of what kind of base you're building, which I'll show you right now. Um, as you can see, you can see the box. I'm not going to prove to you that uh, they can be accessed, but just have some faith they can be accessed. You would have to code lock them. Before you do, I would put uh, the small boxes in. And now you would just code lock everything. Everything but the small boxes. Please don't try to code lock the small boxes. It's going to be a, an absolute nightmare. Let me see if I can actually. Uh, I literally retrieved the uh, loot from another wipe after uh, I got raided through the outside. So yeah, now what you want to do is you enclose them in, but this time um, you want to make sure you make that pixel gap disappear. So you enclose, you attach them to each other instead of to the respective sockets for the roofs. And if you do it just right, you now shouldn't be able to tell that there's a pixel gap. So you can see the gap over there, but not over here. All right, so with that in mind, what have we done? Well, now you have storage that you can access from the bottom, as you just see in the prompt. Uh, you have two large boxes and one small box in the middle. On each side, and that's why we haven't put the frames here because you can't um, access these if you put a frame. So what I like to do right over here is um, make it look like it was rated. So I'm just going to have a big brain in this loot room and do something to this extent. So let's see that like that and see here really doesn't matter if you offset the boxes because it's gonna look rated right they don't have to be perfect I just got the prompt there for a minute perfect see and like does that leave enough room for a TC not necessarily, but you can play with it. Some people might think you're just an absolute chat builder, which you are if you build something like this. And, uh, yeah. So now that you have that, uh, you would upgrade. So with stone, like I said, you can put the box right about over here. Um, scoot over to the edge, and you'll have access to the TC. Now, with metal which you can turn around and make it look uh... so once your whole inside is metal it graders probably won't notice that right let's be honest um, so it gets a little bit more tricky it still works but it gets trickier and now with um, 
HQM, this is where I was going with this, it's probably the, the trickiest part of them all. Uh, as the box still works, but doesn't work as well as it should. So as you can see, I'm still in the same spot, it just won't. So what I would suggest doing with uh, HQM is making sure you have these siren lights researched before uh, you go for it. And what you do with the siren lights is you stack them. You stack them right from the very bottom. One, two, three. After you have three siren lights, you'll have, well, perfect view of the TC. And you have to an angle with it a little bit but as you can see at least now I'm getting the prompt to open it as before I wasn't even getting the prompt there it is so once the whole inside is um, HQM will not change the, uh, the difficulty to access the pixel gaps at the top but it will just change the difficulty to access that pixel gap um, yeah, once the whole inside, like I said, is, um, is HQM, it's going to be much more difficult to, um, there we go, sorry, I just, it's going to be much more difficult to tell that that is a pixel gap TC, because, again, nobody's going to expect that, especially when you come in here, they see that. They're just going to expect this to be sealed, um, especially with some frames missing and all that other jazz. So, yeah, thanks for coming to my TED Talk, and uh, I hope you build yourself one of these chat cabins that have two pixel gaps, plenty of storage, uh, and everything like that. So, tips on what I wanted to say is uh, just leave some junk loot in your boxes so that raiders are satisfied with what they get. We'll put all your goodies in the pixel bunker up top. So another thing that I wanted to mention was why I didn't make this a bunker. Because as you can tell, if all these were raised foundations and uh, you made a roof bunker right over here, we basically put a roof and then uh, the roof triangle. And you would have ended up with something like, like that. It has the back end, and this is your roof, and you put a piece over here, closes the bunker. Uh, so the reason why I didn't want to do that is because if everything is HQM, and they decide to blow through the bunker, you always run the chance of them exposing one of the roofs, um, especially if the bunker is HQM but the roof is not. Um, and they just 16 rocket that or eight rocket that, uh, it will open the roof tile. Also, uh, if they do see a bunker, because that's visible from the outside, right at this corner, um, you'll always risk the chance of them going through the side. If they go through the right side, well, yeah. So I like to, like I said, keep it relatively easy for them uh, to get in, but not get any loot out. As you can see, it's a fairly cheap build. Uh, yeah, like I said, to set down just that TC costs 2.1k wood and about 1.5k stone. And from there, you can just stack resources into that TC and build this absolute beast. Uh, and in case you do end up getting raided uh, by Chinese hackers like I did, and they blow right into your TC, which shouldn't even be visible, and you end up being griefed, uh, what do you do? Well, you go to the good old trusty side right over here. And you will be able to recover two out of the four boxes. That's one. And that's going to be two. Now, I'm not sure why it's not working this very moment. Probably just doesn't like me. But you will be able to access these two boxes with a little bit of a 
With a little bit of dedication. There we go. I guess metal makes it easier. So yeah, that's it. I uh, enjoy bu building this absolute beast of a base. And I'll catch you later.